Good morning, United Nations and New York. Today, I'm with you both in spirit and mind. But thanks to an aggressive virus I got three weeks ago in London, I can't be with you in the flesh. Doctor's order. I don't know if it was a Brexit virus, but for sure it's a tough one. For this, I'm very sad because it's so good to meet you all in person. Over the year, I've been blessed to meet most of you all in the room. Meeting that's always have been good and constructive. You are all so special, which makes the work within the rare disease community so rewarding and good. Clues to be addictive. I especially like to thank all you member states permanent missions here in New York who is co-hosting us today. And I especially like to thank you, Ambassador Jorgensen from Estonia. You have been enormously supportive to us and to me, both at last global gathering in 2016 and to make today's gathering possible. Rare diseases affect people the same worldwide, which make the support today that we are co-hosted by 15 member states unbelievable good. The trust you put into us makes us stronger, so be aware. ECOSOC, you are all the mother of all NGOs. Your support is of enormous importance to us. We are therefore very proud that you, dear Marion, could be with us today. Congo, who has allowed us to set up our NGO committee for rare diseases, Levi, your president, thank you and I hope you feel proud over our work so far. Terkel, Jan, Duran, Robert, Irene, Anna, I could go on to all of you round the table. Without your support and coming here today, we couldn't do much. But since we now are together, we can achieve everything. Sky is really the limit. I wish you all a successful day and I will follow you on the webcast throughout the day. I'm confident that you, Jan, will guide us through the day to a new level for Committee for Rare Diseases. Thank you and God bless you all.